We got our first leaks about GoPro's upcoming cameras all the way back in February. And over the last few months, the hype for the GoPro Hero 11 has skyrocketed. Hey guys, it's Raymond here, and today I'm going to be going over all the new leaks and information for the upcoming GoPro Hero 11. It's no secret that GoPro's competition is the strongest it's ever been. There's an endless amount of action camera options out there, and in order to stay on top, GoPro has to keep releasing new and innovative camera lines. We know we can expect more than just a new Hero camera this year, as some leaks have showcased a first ever GoPro modular camera and a new drone coming out. However, today's focus is on the Hero 11, so if you want to learn more about GoPro's other camera lines, make sure to subscribe to my channel. Last year's Hero 10 Black was GoPro's first camera to record 5K video, while also introducing a GP2 processor, 23 megapixel photos, and HyperSmooth 4.0. So you might be wondering, what will GoPro do with the Hero 11? The most obvious change will be in its specs. I don't think GoPro will ever release a new Hero camera without updating the specs, and this camera will keep the streak going. You can expect the Hero 11 to film in at least 5.7K60, with 6K30 being possible as well. I saw one leak suggesting that 6K60 will be added, but we'll have to see if this holds up to be true. Now we'll also see an improvement on the lower resolutions. 5.3K120 is possible, with 4K240 being a possibility as well. Two years ago, those specs weren't even being thought about. Now it looks like the Hero 11 will be adding them. Having specs like this will allow for you to capture crisp, slow motion footage. It also looks like the Hero 11 will allow for you to take even better photos than before, with a new 30 megapixel photo option. The Hero 11 will also introduce HyperSmooth 5.0. This in-body stabilization is what brought GoPro back to life with the Hero 7 camera, and over the years it's gotten so, so good. The Hero 10 probably has the best in-body stabilization of any camera on the market, and even though there's not too much room for improvement, you can expect HyperSmooth 5.0 to be even better, and the most useful feature on the camera. Now I know this next part will make a lot of you out there happy, but it looks like the Hero 11 will introduce a larger sensor than on previous cameras. Trust me, I see all of your comments talking about a new sensor, and a lot of leagues are starting to suggest that a Hero 11 will add a 1 inch sensor. If this is true, it'll be a massive upgrade for the camera. A larger sensor will allow for better low light video, less overheating, and so many more features to be enhanced. For those that don't know that much about camera sensors, it's responsible for the video that you capture, and the larger the sensor, the more light, color, and contrast you're able to capture. People have been wanting this to happen for over two years now, and after the Hero 10 added a new processor, it looks like the Hero 11 will have a new 1 inch sensor. Moving on, as I just touched on, the Hero 11 will capture better low light video. The Hero 10 addressed this issue to a certain degree, but the Hero 11 will be able to capture the best low light video of any GoPro yet. This the camera will also fix the overheating issue even further. Although this really isn't an issue on the Hero 10, it's something that I haven't experienced since the Hero 7, it can still happen if you're recording at 5.3K for an extended period of time. However, the Hero 11 will continue to make this issue go away on these cameras. Another thing we should see on the Hero 11 is more lens options. So far, we only have the Max Lens mod, but the Hero 11 could easily add multiple new lens options, which would be a bonus. Alright now, moving on to the release date for the Hero 11. Of course, there's nothing official from GoPro yet, as they typically don't announce new cameras until just a few weeks before they're out for sale. However, you can expect the Hero 11, along with some other product lines, to release this September. As we get closer and closer to the release date, you can expect more leaks to come out about its features, price, and official release date, as well as the other product lines coming out. If you want to see videos over a new GoPro drone, Max 2 and more, make sure to leave a like on this video. Alright guys, now that is pretty much going to wrap up today's video, but before you go, make sure to smash that like button, comment down below what you think about these leaks, and most importantly, subscribe with notifications turned on so you never miss out on awesome videos just like this one. I'm Raymond Tiller, and I'll see you on the next video.